Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and today we are going to be talking about a variety of different things that you should know if you are in a band or joining a band or thinking about joining a band or even maybe leaving a band. So uh, these are in no particular order. Um, I'm, I just made a list, um, and I'm just going to go right into it. So uh, the first thing I have written down is show up on time. Yep, that's right. Be punctual. Actually be there. If you say you're going to be at practice, everyone agrees to 12 o'clock, actually show up at 12 o'clock. Uh, in retrospect, if you're 5, 10 minutes late here and there, or I mean, even if you're like 5, 10 minutes late, like every time, it's not a huge deal. It does take a little bit of time. But if you're consistently an hour or two late or you say you're going to be there and you're not going to be there, everyone else in the band is going to hate you real quick. Um, just a ex personal example for me, I had one guy in the band that I'm currently in, we were looking for a singer. And out of six practices, he showed up twice. And out of those two times, the first time he was two hours late. So don't be that guy. Uh, let's see, number two uh, that I have written down here. Uh, be willing to play songs you don't like. So a lot of the songs you're going to like, for instance, I'm into rock, metal, that type of music. Um, there's a few songs that we're playing that I won't name them because I don't want to uh, piss off my bandmates if they do watch this. But I don't really care about the songs. I don't really like the songs. But I play them anyway because they like them, you know. And they're crowd pleasers, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, and I'm sure there are songs that I've chosen that they play they don't, they don't care for as well. Um, so if you have a lead and a rhythm guitarist, we'll say this is number three. Um, be willing to share the parts. Um, in my case, I am primarily a rhythm guitarist. Uh, my, the lead guitarist, I will admit, he is better than me. I accept that fact. Um, but, but for certain songs, if I want to, he has no problem letting me take the lead if I want to do, take the lead for a song here and there. Um, he'll take the rhythm. It gives him a little bit of a break, too. So be willing to go back and forth between rhythm and lead parts on songs. Uh, let's see, number four here. If you get asked for your volume to get turned down, just do it, you know. Um, if you can't hear yourself, explain that you can't hear yourself. That's why you keep turning up the volume. But, um... Maybe stand in a different spot, but if the entire band is asking you to please turn down your amp, they can't hear you, or you're too loud, just do it. Don't complain about it, just do it. It's not all about you, it's about the sound altogether, not that one particular person. All right, so the, we'll say number five, practice on your own time. You have to make time, I usually try to do half hour, hour a day, where um, I can learn a new song, or try to do a new technique, or something like that. You have to make time outside of actual band practice to learn new songs. Um, give yourself, as I said, a half hour, hour every day. Some days you're not going to get to it. That happens once in a while. But at least give yourself time. Say you agree, your group has agreed to learn two to three new songs. Um, or three songs. At least try to get down two of those songs for next practice. Maybe you're rusty on the third one. Or maybe you just didn't get to the third one because life happens. It's all right. Uh, next one on the list, number six, two of everything for your gigs. So, uh, two guitars, two mics, two mic cables, um, batteries for uh, guitar pedals, bass pedals, bring backups of. If your pedal board com completely craps out, um, maybe you, you have a, an extra pedal or something lying around, just try to bring two of everything, you know, extra guitars for different tunings or if a string breaks, uh, maybe two tuners. Uh, two different cables, uh, two different amps if you can if you can afford it. Um, pretty much this is an if you can afford it type situation, but you want to have a backup for everything. And if you can super afford it, you triples everything because you never know. Maybe you have two amps and for whatever reason uh, you hit a speed bump, you have a tube amp and the two two of the two the tubes cracked in both the amps. Then you're pretty much SOL for the entire gig because you do not have anything working or available for you. Um don't drink, smoke, and do drugs to the point where you can't function to play that instrument. If you're at a bar and somebody offers you like one free shot or one free beer, go for it. But if you got 12 shots lined up in front of you, don't do that shit. Maybe share it with the rest of the brand. Spread spread the love out. Don't. Ugh. You can't. If you can't function and can't play an instrument, you're no good to the rest of the band, and everybody's gonna hate you. Uh, so be willing to spend money on better equipment. Um, when you start off, obviously you may have cheap equipment. It might not sound the best, but once the band gets going and you start making a few dollars, 
invest that money that you get in your share and do better equipment so that way your shows sound better and you get more gigs to make more money. So all the money that you're earning, split that evenly. Unless Slash or Axl Rose or somebody from some famous band is like, hey kid, I'm going to pay you a hundred grand to show. I'm making four million dollars a show, but I'll pay you a hundred grand to be my new guitarist. You take that deal right away if that ever happens to you. But in a reality situation where you're just playing bars and making a few extra bucks on the weekends, just split it all evenly so that way you don't have to deal with issues of money and all that other crap. So if you have to kick a member out of the band, explain to them specifically why you are kicking out of the band. From personal experience, I was kicked out of a band once. I had no explanation. I got a text message saying, hey, guess what? You're out of the band. And I was like, hey, can you give me an explanation for why? So that way I can try to learn from it and do better for the next band. I got zero explanation. They spaced on me. Most of those guys no longer even talk to me, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm still slightly pissed off about that. Uh, but explain why. So say you have a singer and they're never showing up. They never practice new songs. Um, their voice is always shot. They can't really do it. Give them those reasons. Hey, buddy, you never show up or practice. You never learn new songs. There's two reasons right there why we're kicking you out of the band. All right, so don't complain about every little thing. Um, if you're constantly complaining all the time, no one's going to be around you. Everybody's going to hate you. It's just going to be a big mess. So try to keep the complaining to a bare minimum. Uh, hang out with your bandmates outside of practice. So uh, maybe all of you can go to the music store, you know, and be just be gearheads and, and kind of oodle over the super expensive Gibsons and uh, Rickenbackers and amps, Marshalls and PVs, etc. Um, just try to get to know your bandmates on a more personal level so you have that connection while you're playing at a show. Uh, try to practice like an entire band, not individually. Try to practice at least once a week for a few hours, obviously, because then that leads to less messes and less mishaps when you're going to a show. Uh, no drama. So try not to do the drama. Try not to do the whole don't bring your girlfriend to practice unless you're just maybe having her there um, to kind of test your sound. You know, how does she think it sounds? Um, maybe get a few extra people at a free show or something and be like, hey, maybe you can adjust this, adjust that, etc. Don't be the whole girlfriend drama. Oh, I can't come to practice because my girlfriend wants to hang out mess. No, you make that go away. Um, if you do end up getting kicked out of band... Use it as a learning experience. As I said, um, try to ask the people that kicked you out of the band uh, why they kicked you out and try to get an explanation from them if you can. And then use that as a learning experience moving forward. Uh, let's see. So if the band that you have joined, maybe you've been practicing for a month or two, and you just don't think it's for you, uh, give that band, if they do already have started gigging and have gigs booked, ample time to get a basically a replacement for you because you don't want to leave them high and dry and screw them over. And then if you ever try to join another band and be like, oh, well, this guy was in this band, maybe you can ask those guys why he left. And they'd be like, oh, well, this guy screwed me over. Don't have him ever in a band. Then exactly, it's going to be a mess. So give your bandmates ample time to find a replacement for you. Um, everything that can go wrong will go wrong. <laughs> That's kind of going back to the uh, get to of everything type deal um something's gonna mess up something's gonna go really bad eventually it's kind of inevitable um the shit's gonna hit the fan real hard somewhere um you're gonna have two guitars both strings are gonna break on both of them and uh you're gonna be sitting out a few songs while you're restringing your guitar in the corner um oh yeah always bring extra strings two extra picks as i said two of everything two of everything is your best bet for that uh, don't do more than like maybe 10 ish free shows starting out. Um, it doesn't have to be 10, it can be less than 10, but basically, you start off doing a couple free shows to that way to show the bar, the bar or revenue wherever you're playing that you can get an audience there, um, that you can make them more money so that they actually want to pay you to come back and do it again. Uh, let's see if you have your originals, like original songs, and you're trying to be an original band, um, Mix it up with covers. Maybe do uh, two covers to one original, or you can do every other song. But don't just play your originals, because people want to jam out to songs they love, they've heard on the radio. You know, they had a hard day at work. They want to hear Smells Like Teen Spirit, Sweet Child of Mine. Um, I'm trying to think, of maybe Fade to Black. You, you get what I'm saying, though. Don't pr 
completely starting out, don't do 100% of your originals because nobody's going to know the lyrics, nobody's going to sing along, and it's going to make for a, uh, I guess, less experience, uh, less well experience, I should say, for the audience members that you are playing for. Um, and then maybe if you are finally popular and you've been around for a while, then you can do primarily originals. Um, and then the last one I have is be open to new ideas. Um, if you're primarily playing rock songs and one of the guys that, and you're going to a specific revenue that you know um, is primarily pop songs, um, maybe throw in some pop songs in there, some more popular top 100 songs, because you know that that's going to be the crowd and that's going to draw more people in as if you're playing that, those specific songs for that specific venue. So as much as some, some of you may hate me saying that, you got to be open to new ideas and you got to be open to basically anything and everything that may help you grow as a band and make you more money, obviously. They say it's not all about the money, but it, it, it partially is. It partially is. Especially if your audience wants it. Basically, you listen to your audience and do what your audience wants you to do. So, if you have any comments, feel free to comment down below if you want to add to my list. I had about 20-ish, somewhere around there. I didn't number them, but uh, just kind of going off of what I wrote down here. Um, please subscribe if you liked this video, and also turn on that notification bell, so that way you know when I am creating new videos. Also, give me a like if you like this video, dislike if you don't like it, etc. Check out all my other videos, blah, 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 blah. My name is Steve Gray. Have a good one.